Hello guys, welcome back to another, well, another episode of Minecraft with me, Luke K. Yeah, got all that deal. Um, yeah, uh, so, this isn't typically what I'm doing. I usually play survival and stuff like that, but this side you haven't seen of me. The more techy, redstone-y type dealio of me. <clears throat> Which actually isn't that half bad at redstone. Um, and yes, I'm going to be creating a map. I don't know if I've ever done a map making type uh, recording yet, but uh, this will probably be the first. So, this is supposed to be where you spawn, but it doesn't exactly do it. Um, out here is a little bit... Oh, I forgot to kill that. Um, just ignore, I was messing around with some stuff. <laughs> Uh, so this is a game called Survive, and, uh, it's, it's sort of like cake defense, but you're not really defending anything, and it's just, you're basically just fighting till you die, or till you beat the whole entire thing, and I have all the, m I have all the, m well, this isn't the main redstone, Main redstone is gonna be huge. It's gonna be a stack of command blocks that summon mobs and with different armor. I'll tell you what, that is going to take forever. Um, I'm all gonna have them spawn in one place, but there's gonna be a lot of them. So, yeah. So if you go here, this is the map selection. Uh, basically, these are kind of these are really rough designs of some of the stuff. This is an, the end map. This is a snow ruin map. This is a jump forest type area. It's going to have a bunch of trees. This is a nether map and stuff. It's going to look a lot better than that. A desert map, again, look, it'll look better. Um, and a stronghold, obviously a very rough. And then you just flick the lever once, and these all activate. So this one is the ice map right here that I'm looking at right here. Um, let me turn down that and that. There we go. Um, anyway, let me check my frames. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good. Uh, that turns that on, turning this off, which will allow this. Why, you know what? Why don't I just demo it? So, let's say we want the ice map. You just flick this lever. I know I could have done redstone way better than this or had that room closer, but... This is just simple. So anyway, that takes this lock off of this. And then when you press this button right here, it will send a signal to the command block that's there that's going to send you to that map. So yeah, that's how that rolls. I people have to follow the rules in order for the map thing to work, or else you get teleported into two. Anyway, and then over here, you have uh, the different rounds. Which uh, I call this baby mode, which is 10 rounds, toddler mode, which is 20, uh, medium mode, which is 30, hard mode, which is 40, and 50 is hardcore mode. And 50 is the maximum amount of, uh, 50 is the maximum amount of, yeah. And then here I'm going to have a shop, I think I'm going to work on the map though, because those are going to take the longest time. Um, and we are in 1.7.10, by the way, not in the snapshot. Uh, this is how to play. You can pause the video and read everything from here down to here. Some stuff might be a little bit changed. I wrote game modes have not been put in yet. I was originally actually going to add game modes, but I don't know. I found it really hard to to think of different game modes besides like Last Man Standing or something like that versus the person who gets the most amount of points in all the rounds wins or something. And yeah, so. While I'm punching out all this bedrock, I'm going to talk to you about something. I have Cube World. Um, yeah. I was going to maybe do a playthrough of it or something, but way too laggy. To the point where I couldn't even imagine playing on it and stuff, so I'm not going to do that, unless you guys know of a way to make it not as laggy. So then maybe I would, so if you guys are into that, just say or 
yeah. You know what to do. Hit, hit, hit. that's, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going with this anymore, so. We're just, we're just gonna punch, that, this is why we're punching out bedrock, because we got nothing better to do. And I'm really bored, so, and I need to get a video out. And I just wanted to work on a map. I actually have multiple different maps. I'm like, part of those people who just, who start a lot of things, yet don't really finish or work on them at all, so I'm trying to get away from that, because literally I've created, like, three other maps to have been, like, uh, survival maps, like, uh, like, Vex map type things, but I've never gotten to them. Um, there, I was going to have, uh, a mini game, which I'm actually thinking about working on more, because it's actually, I don't know if anybody else has thought of this idea, uh, as long as with this survive map. Um, but anyway, so my idea for the other mini game, which I'm actually working on, I might even go show you, um, is that basically you have this really, really long path, and you have these pillars of cobblestone, which have pressure plates in front of them. Now, some pressure plates won't make you teleport back to the spawn and some of them will so you should just avoid them and you're gonna have like speed 20 so you run really really fast so you it's really hard to avoid them and we're gonna work on the end map here because I want it to be in near the void anyway uh, uh, I'm actually gonna have bedrock walls all around this so no enemies can like spawn on it so yeah um uh, uh, hold on, I just lost my train of thought. Let me think here. Let me think here. I might even pause the video while I think, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna... Okay, I found it again. Um, it was off the tracks, if you're wondering what the train was, I thought. Anyway, uh, so, you also have, like, jump boosts, so you... And some of the pillars you can jump over and some you can't, and there's not gonna be... The walls are gonna be really high, so you won't be able to really base it, so sometimes... It's like a, enough jump boost to get you over five blocks, so I think it's like jump boost four or something. Um, maybe ten, I don't know. I don't know how the jump jumping system works, but I know how the damage system works. Um, and if you... It's... Uh, in front of most... I already explained... Urgh, what is with me today? Anyway, uh, so, so sometimes you'll probably get lucky if you hit a pressure plate, and you can't make over a pillar, so you just hit a pressure plate. Uh, sometimes you'll be lucky and it won't send you back to the beginning, but sometimes you'll just be completely lucky and it'll just... unlucky. Or... Sometimes it'll take you back to the spawn, sometimes it won't. Anyway, and then it turns off the effects once you go through. Then you have to restart. And... yeah. And then at the end, there's actually gonna be three troll pressure plates. It's a four wide path, like, I'm just gonna demo it, it's like that by like a thousand blocks, and I think I've completed about half of it, it's actually taking a lot longer than I thought, anyway, but at the end there's gonna be four, there's gonna be four kind of, mm, how should I explain it, kind of like this pattern of pressure plates, and three of those are actually going to be troll pressure plates, and you'll actually get sent back to the start. <laughs> so, just find the lucky one, and you won't get sent back. Yeah. Um, and that's basically deal with that. Let me just turn it back today. It's an interesting idea. I don't know of any minigame like it. It's actually fairly decently hard, because I've, I've tried at least what I've done so far, and... I failed quite a lot. I failed, I think, uh, maybe five or six times before I actually got through the half. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm losing my mind. I'm getting old-ish. Anyway. I don't know what to talk about now. Um... Oh yeah, and after, in the last video, I think I talked about what, why I'm going to be gone for, the, like, the next week. I don't, 
we're gonna be back on we're gonna be like at our we're gonna be here for like two days before we go on another week vacation and man it's two days it's just ridiculous and they're they're both long trips I mean it's like a four hour trip to some river and then it's yeah even longer for our next trip so I don't know if I'm gonna post on any of those two days so you might not get a video for like two weeks I know I haven't posted video like before I haven't posted like the longest time I haven't posted without a video has been like three or four months just cuz I was focusing on school and yeah I haven't been able to get a hold of Matthew, so that's why you probably haven't seen many videos with Matthew lately in multiplayer. You've probably only done one video, two videos without him in multiplayer. So, yeah. If you're ever questioning that, that be why. I'm just, I don't know. I need to talk. I need stuff to say. <clears throat> what is the hottest temperature that... Y here's a question for guys what is the hottest temperature you've been in this summer so far because I think the hottest it's been here has been like I don't know uh, like a hundred or something it was a few days ago maybe a week I don't know I'm losing track of time this is briefly what I want to do with walls so I'm just gonna like build them up I'm also gonna have obsidian pillars all like right there or something. Anyway, now we need to get a roof above it so it kind of is dark under here. Cause I want it to. Um, I'm peaceful. Good. Um, because I wanted. The reason I want peaceful is because I don't want mobs spawning under there while I'm working and stuff on this. Yeah, I just want it really high up. Maybe even to the height limit. What height are we at right now? Only 60? Jeez. Um, yeah, we're just gonna build this all the way to the height limit and build kind of a cover over it. I'll probably not bore you guys to death with doing this, so I'm just gonna do that off camera. I think this is high enough. Anyway, and then we're just gonna cover this up. It'll hopefully look really dark down there. Kind of like how. Maybe it'll even give us the void fog. That'd be really cool if it did. In fact, if it doesn't do that on the sides of it, I actually think I'm going to do that. Because that seems really, really, really cool. I'm just going to get maybe three blocks out on the edge. So this block is where we pretty much need to build to in order to keep the void fog look. So I mean, it is the end, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to pause here. Flying... look back and I just look at all what I need to put in here my gosh this is probably gonna be the hardest map that I'm building well this is kind of the effect that you kind of get it mm, makes it a little bit darker down here making it feel more like the end um I don't think it's gotten dark enough around here to where it's gonna I'm gonna start seeing void fog but I you do see this rim around the top here that does mean you're close to bedrock if you see that and you like find an open chunk that you can see like sun rising or something uh, and that's kind of the look you get in it so yeah if that makes sense at all so it, I think it is gonna give the void fog it looks so weird flying up Ah, we're gonna crash. Oh my. Never mind. 
we're not getting void fog. This is as good as it's gonna get. My, it's gonna get a lot more darker in here once I finish this and upgrade the walls. So, yeah. Boo. Whoa, black spikes. That's whoa. Whoa, that was that was weird. Yay! I'm finally done. Spaz attack. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some lag spikes for some reason. And I've kind of expanded the wall down there, if you can see, kind of over there. Just so I can get a good feel of how good the darkness is. Oh! <sighs> Game rule. Oops. Game rule. Mob spawning. False. I do not want this. This is probably the cause of the lag. Yeah, my frames are dropping halfway. That's insane. Yeah, it looks kind of good. This is all going to turn to bedrock. So now I'm trying to do. I should probably do this with obsidian, but. I don't know, should I do this with obsidian? Because that would make it look more... endy. If that's... <laughs> endy. If that's even a real term I can use. Because it'll make it seem like the void in the end. I'll give it kind of that... look. <laughs> uh, my words don't make sense sometimes. I don't blame any of you if you don't understand me. Not a lot of people do. Trust me. Not not too many do. Okay, we are getting this dark. Maybe we should shave that. Does that make it darker if we do that? Yeah, it does. I want it to all be this dark, so we're gonna have to upgrade that to this one. Oh wait, no, that one, this one. We're basically just gonna have to make the sides pretty tall. So, so we get this whole look all the way through. And I might have some torches, just so you can actually see, but you can already see, so. Yeah. He's Bill the Chicken. He's a chicken named Bill. Allah. Praise Bill. He is the chicken with a bill. I. <laughs> I just randomly named. Look, I, I just randomly named the chicken Bill. I didn't even. Wait. <laughs> I didn't even intend for that to have a pun. He's a chicken with a bill. <laughs> he has a bill, and his name is Bill. Anybody following me? Or are you just being crazy? <laughs> yeah. That's how we roll. <laughs> I'm here. I just thought of something else that would be extremely funny. <laughs> I want to summon something so bad, but... It would destroy this entire arena. And I'm not replacing any of this. I know... I know what I... am gonna... What I want to summon won't break bedrock, but still... It would be insane if I did. And I'm not gonna tell you guys. Well, I might just randomly put him in. That or I could put him in a minecart. Then he wouldn't be able to move. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing next. <laughs> okay, I thought about summoning him. I thought about summoning him, and, uh, I just realized I wouldn't be able to kill him that easily, and I don't want him breaking free, so. Yeah, I was gonna, uh, fine, I'll tell you. You, you forced me, I guess I will. I was gonna put a minecart on an ender dragon in a minecart, so the ender dragon would have a minecart on him that I could ride, and then he'd be riding in a minecart so he wouldn't move, and I'd be in, on the, riding an ender dragon. Legit. Well, 
if you can call creative legit. So I bet somebody's already thought of that, but it's just to show you guys that I know how to do the, these commands. I didn't just look it up. I just typed that in. Here, I'll even do one right now. Slash summon. Let's do a cow. One, two, three of those. And then riding like that. I ID double dot chicken. Yeah. And that. Yep. Cow's riding a chicken. Mm. You're so cute. Mm. No, oh, wrong thing. No. no but the chicken. No. I can't punch the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know commands, guys. I know commands. I, I'm techie-ish, if you can call me that. I don't know. Nobody really calls me techie-ish, so yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me drink a night vision for this, just cause it'll help you guys see. Let's do six minute one. There we go. All right. So I finished the wall. I finished that. It's time to start terraforming-ish type thing. So we're just going to build a second layer. We're going to kind of do pyramid-ish type thing. Have like the middle indented. Um, yeah. Kind of like this type of look. And then, so this is like the surrounding area and stuff or something. It's going to be like... I'm going to keep that because that seems like almost end-ish. Like, you, you probably see that in the end, wouldn't you? Ish? I seem to be saying ish a lot, so yeah. And I don't think I'm going to allow a bow. Because I'm going to make pillars of obsidian. In fact, I'm just going to do one right now. Um, they're going to be mini pillars like this. Actually, I should just make them one block. Make you feel like a giant. Anyway, and it's just gonna go like really high up, and then I'm gonna stand here and do slash summon ender crystal. Yeah. Actually, one, that's not gonna do anything but break the look if people shoot that. And two, I, since it's almost centered, well, yeah, let's just do this. We're just gonna, because it's technically an entity, we could place it wherever we want. If we I think if we stand in the middle of these blocks, we'll put it in the middle. Okay, so we're basically at the middle. Hmm. Eh. That'll get the look down. Well, I'm just gonna put this down. Keep on changing what I'm gonna do, but they're typically centered on pillars, so I'm just gonna kind of create pillars like this all the way around or all over, so it looks and and like I might put bows in, but I might. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to keep people from breaking that. People might not even notice it. Let me drink milk and see if I can notice it. Nah, you could... Hmm. Time, night. So used to terraria commands. Set, night. Oh my gosh. What did I do wrong? Oh. Anyway, um... I'm a, actually, I could have options, one for being different times of day. Like, you have day, night, midnight, uh, not that night would really matter, sunset, sunrise, stuff like that, lunch time, if that's technically even a time, just be mid noon, um, afternoon or something, I don't know. It would be an interesting idea, and then mobs are just going to spawn maybe on one of the towers, like inside of it, and you can't reach it, and they're just going to pile out. However, some mobs might be stupid and just be like, eh, I'm a mob, oh, 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 okay, I almost didn't make it out of that, live. 
Oh yeah, and that's where the maps are over there. That's the nether map over here. I had to put lava down. Just thought I'd show you guys. Discuss it interesting. Oh look where the map oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the map over there. We're under the void ish type thing. Bat get out from under there. We're gonna put a bottom to that too. Um and yeah, I'm gonna work on that a little bit off camera, so Yeah. Um let's talk about Bill. He has a bill and he's gonna die. Sorry, Bill, but your time has come. All right, leave a comment or s comment. Leave a comment and with an e. We don't have comments here. Uh, with an, uh, and leave a like or subscribe. If you leave a comment, I might say, "Ooh, I don't." I might have to expand that wall because that's where all the maps are gonna be. Um, yeah. If you leave a comment, I might choose it because. Well, I don't have any people commenting. If like one person who comments on all my video, Matthew is is one who comments, but he comments on all my videos. I think, or most of my videos. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. <coughs> Remember, Bill. <laughs>